Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 8 German light cruiser, the Mainz. We're playing a tier 8 battle on the map Crash Zone Alpha. There are aircraft carriers, but they are tier 8, and that doesn't really make me worried as a player myself. It might screw our team, obviously, but that's not something I can do anything about, and it might just happen to the enemy team exactly the same way. However, the Mainz is fairly good with anti-air, so I shouldn't be too worried about the enemy aircraft carrier. And surprisingly, this isn't a tier 10 battle, which is something that I keep getting a lot in this ship. Now, overall, the ship is a light cruiser. She has, I think, the tier 5 or tier 6, that's Koenigsbergar Nürnberg guns, the 150 millimeters. She has 12 of them on the hull of an Admiral Hipper or, a, I guess, a Prinz Eugen. However, the armor, at least last time I checked, was weakened, so it's not quite as effective against Battleship AP as the Prinz Eugen and the Admiral Hipper are. Which is why I think the ship is overall mediocre. I don't think she's amazing, but I don't think she's, like, super weak either. It's not really a premium I would recommend, but, I mean, you could definitely do worse with, with one. One thing is that I personally just enjoy battleships more, especially as a premium, than cruisers. Uh, and so, you know, that kind of colors my opinion. She didn't really suffer anything from the IFHE nerf, because she's a German cruiser and they have better uh, HE penetration anyway, so didn't matter. And so, yeah, I would use the same captain as I do on the Hindenburg, in fact I probably do. Uh, because I am using a special captain, the Günther Lütjens. And so I, I do think that that captain is normally on my uh, Hindenburg. So why am I sitting over here doing nothing at all? That's because I'm waiting for the enemy to appear. Um, although counting the ships on the mirror, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's only two ships missing, which likely means that they're not going to be over here. You see, often there ends up being like a battle line over there, a bunch of ships that engage, and so I'm just waiting for them, but it seems that we're not getting it this match. So I'm actually going to turn around, because I don't really want to fight the Massachusetts and the Bismarck. They're not... I mean, they're okay ships to fight against, but only with the Normandy and the Hatsuharu backup, I don't think this is going to be a fun fight. I mean, it's doable. It's not really a problem, I'm just gonna take a lot of damage, and unfortunately the Mainz does not have a heal, so I cannot recover from the damage that I take. Instead, I'm gonna go more towards the middle with my North Carolina and War Spite. Well, if this North Carolina comes along, of course. I mean, we'll see. But regardless, I'm gonna go over there, unless these guys want to push in close. And by these guys, I mean the enemies, not the allies because I am definitely not going into open water to try to engage a Bismarck and a uh, Massachusetts. It's not worth it, really. Because if I push for further from here, you know, there's only open water. The only way, way places I could run would be in the middle, which, you know, would put me in the engagement of the War Spite and the Trento and maybe the Ranger, which... This is not exactly a way to get out of combat, so I might as well simply go over there and fight them first, and then, you know, see what the stronger battleships uh, are left with. Because the Normandy and the Massachusetts are eventually going to clash, and I think a battleship is much better suited to deal with that kind of a situation than I would. Whereas I should be pretty good against the worst bite. I mean, uh, all I have to do is uh, do long-range dodging thingies to try to not die and uh, just farm HE, da farm HE damage on her. I mean, she's not exactly a fast ship to be able to magically disappear and maneuver, right? So she should be just food for me. I mean, we've already done 8k on her. And we're going to continue dealing more damage to her. I just need to make sure I don't sail too far away. Might see that the dispersion isn't the greatest, but we're actually firing at quite a long range for these types of guns. Wait, actually... Who's aiming at me? 
because it wasn't the worst bite, right? The worst bite fired elsewhere. This is actually bad news because it might mean that I'm being aimed at by a battleship and I don't know which one. I would... I would say that maybe it could be like a destroyer, but there's clearly no destroyer here, otherwise we wouldn't have all three capsules. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's hoping she wouldn't fire at me yet, but... Oh, actually, maybe it is the Faragut, or was the Faragut that aimed at me earlier. Whoops, I guess I shouldn't have used my plane thing yet. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna fire at uh, Faragut to help my own destroyer. Although I don't really hope for much success, maybe it'll dissuade the Faragut from doing things that my that might hurt my allied destroyer. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn around and actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch targets to the war spike. Because if we take care of the battleship, which is absolutely much easier than the destroyer, because I can consistently hit the war spike. I can go closer and it won't be nearly as scary with the battleship, right? Oh boy. Come on. Can we deal with the ship, please? And I'm not asking for teammate help, I'm asking for my own shells to finish her off. Oh god, one shell. Are you for real, Nerun? Oh my god, and wow, the North Carolina actually had to come in to finish her off. That's not good. But, I mean, that's dead, I guess. Oh, the ranger is coming here again. I don't know why, though. That, that's such a bad situation. Okay, we should be able to finish the Faragut here. Wait, what is she doing? She's dropping at me from the front. Why? What do you think is gonna happen here, Ranger? What? What? <laughs> this is, I guess, what they call a pro gamer move, huh? Well, let's annoy that uh, North Carolina. I mean, at this point, we basically cut the enemy team in half, right? So I can pick and choose which side I want to go to, and I think it's gonna be the uh, side I just came from. Because while we're actually doing well in terms of the cap zones and whatnot, we're not actually winning the game in terms of ships left. And uh, there's a lot more red on the sea cap than on the... Actually, I don't know, I haven't counted, but... There's a lot more big red on the seaside. Go away, mines. Nobody likes you. I mean, seriously, who would play a mines? <laughs> like, seriously, who would play such a ship? I don't understand. Should probably use a AP against the Hong Hei. I don't actually know how well this AP works. I just it just seems right to be using AP against a very squishy cruiser. Ooh, we actually got the Citadel from this kind of range. Damn, I don't know what that armor is made of. It's definitely not made of. Uh, steel or iron actually i don't know what they specifically used back then <laughs> got him <laughs> here's a pro tip smoke doesn't mean that you're invulnerable it simply means that others can't see you and by see you i mean lock onto you they can still, you know, see where your shells come from and still shoot you and all those not very nice things if you're on the receiving end. So right now I'm shooting at the Bismarck, but I'm actually worried about the Massachusetts. Right now it's okay because I'm not 
uh, nobody is locked onto me, right? So I don't need to worry about anybody shooting at me in a moment. However, I am actually in a poor position. I would like to be angled this way, sailing in that direction. Because when when that were the case, you know, I could... I would have a... The Massachusetts would have a smaller angle to attack me with, from. But luckily, she's for whatever reason engaging somebody else entirely. Here, I more or less... I would actually like to start turning around soon. And I actually do want to put some distance between myself and the Massachusetts. I, I don't want to end up within secondary range of a battleship. That tends to not go well for cruisers. Okay, we uh, activated Gunther Lutien's uh, special ability now. That's good. And I'm gonna just keep shelling at the Massachusetts as I go towards the... I guess more or less the middle of the map now. Even though that will get put me within the secondary range, but I think it's gonna be okay because... Uh, I think at this point the import more important bit is the... Um, ability for me to either go towards the C side or the A side, depending on which way the match goes. You know, if our North Carolina goes down and the Vastaras does not go to C, then it might end up, you know, it might be me that has to do it. Uh, whereas, you know, if we do finish her off and the NC survives, for example, uh, I might have to go to A. And so being in the middle gives me both choices. Whereas choosing one or the other would have, you know, locked the choice in and if things go poorly, I wouldn't be able to change anything. Oh, it's another cruiser that is relying on smoke. Let's see if uh, we can get closer, close enough to actually take a shot. And the NC actually did go down. Interesting. Oh, but she actually traded with the, uh, the Trento. Well, I guess we're gonna go to sea then. And then we will see. And while we do so, we can uh, take some nice shots against that Mainz. Seriously, who planes a Mainz? Somebody said Cap C in chat, right? I should say, no you. Uh, but especially because he's dead. Well, I actually think he's dead. I don't know for sure. Actually, Capsons don't even matter at this point. Since game's really 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 over we have four ships they have two and we actually have an aircraft carrier so and they have a mines we have a mines too but ours is slightly more hp than theirs significantly worse aim than theirs though so far at least oh well i guess i won't be able to finish her off but i'm sure the aircraft carrier will manage Instead, we will simply sail towards the sea cap. So, overall, would I recommend the mines? Not really. Do I think it's a weak ship? No. Uh, but I don't think it's a stronger overpowered cruiser either. Um, I would say that if I didn't get into tier 10 battles as often with this cruiser, I would like her a lot more. But I do. And unfortunately, I don't think she's really one of those cruisers that fits well in tier 10 battles. Mostly because she doesn't have a heal she, and, you know, her other stats like Concealment and, uh, I don't know, DPM, they aren't quite... You know, you're not a Belfast, right? That's kind of the issue in terms of firepower and in terms of survivability, you're not exactly a Baltimore and, you know, the AP isn't amazing. So, I don't know. She's a good, she's a decent ship at least, but nothing too amazing. If she had the same armor as an Admiral Hipper or Prince Eugen, or had a heal like the Prince Eugen, I think I would like the ship a lot more. But right now, I think I prefer the Prince Eugen over this. I just don't really enjoy the mostly HE spamming playstyle with not great armor. Well, a million credits, but don't take these numbers to heart, right? I'm using all of the economy flags, all of them. We're not missing a single one of them. 102k damage. Acceptable result. Two ships sunk. Shot down 10 planes. Oh, actually, one thing, yeah. That is to note, that the anti-air on the ship is pretty damn good. For a German ship, at least. It's pretty damn good. And for the tier, of course. Oh. 
I guess that's what you get for actually sinking the enemy um, CV. And she's also tier 6, so she gets more XP. But hey, we managed to still outdo everyone. I've played a bunch of games with her now. And um, yeah, she the ship is good, but not amazing. Here we can see the damage. Of course, HE spam was most of the damage. Then you add in the fires. I'm sure if you get closer, you know, it gets easier to hit targets. Obviously, the shells are really floaty at this kind of maximum range, but... Unfortunately, the guns are really tier 6 guns, so... They're really meant to be fought at mostly against enemies with less range. You know, a lot of these battleships... Okay, maybe not in this match, actually. And NC, Abysmark, they have a lot more range than the mines do, does. And, you know, in a match like this, it's completely fine, but if you end up in a tier 10 battle, you know, you'll end up fighting battleships with incredible range and accuracy, and then you will have to be at the ma at your maximum range quite often. And I just don't find it as much fun to play. If you want to see all of the flags, uh, here they are. Lots of them. Almost 50k Captain XP, in fact. Actually, that shouldn't be too surprising. Even that's kind of normal. And here we can see all the... Even the credits flags, right? I just have so many of them. I, I just use them all the time now. I really like the update that changed it. Because it kind of didn't make sense that you wouldn't use it before. I mean, I just played another Mines game. This one was actually... I would say it was a game that was almost as good in terms of my own match that I had. However, um, the actual match itself was kind of terrible because my team just kind of collapsed. But I got lucky. The enemy Synop just donated the ship to me. 40k damage with the torpedoes. That's something I guess you didn't see. So you can see it right here. So, let's take a look at the captain skills and upgrades. But because she's a premium ship, and sure, you might, you probably don't have Gunther Lutians, um, I would still use these skills. Well, maybe not jack of all trades, I don't know. So, start with priority target, and then adrenaline rush, superintendent, because this ship actually doesn't really need superintendent, but because I use this on the Hindenburg and other cruisers that have IFHE -E, or heal, well, that's kind of necessary. And I don't recommend getting a special captain just for this ship, unless you really like her. Then, concealment expert, obviously. Then I figured that I would want demolition expert, because your fire chances... You know, the guns aren't the greatest, right? So the fire chances, I think, 8% or 7 or something like that, without the flags. And so you want the you want the two percent fire chance, you know. Let's say you have ten percent fire chance, you take uh, the militia expert, you start twenty percent more fires. And since you don't need IFHE, well, you obviously don't take that, especially with the uh, downside now. And actually, I don't know what else you would take, because you're dealing with a cruiser, super survivability expert. I just figured, why not? But you don't have a heal, so you don't really take advantage of it too much. Maybe you go for expert marksman. I want for jack of all trades, but maybe expert marksman is actually better here. Unsure of that. Upgrades wise, it's also pretty standard fare. Uh, she has a fighter plane, and you have hydro or defensive fire. Upgrades hydro here. If you don't have this, damage control obviously. First slot is main armament as always. I want with um, the main battery traverse speed. You might also want to go with dispersion, but it's a cruiser. The buff on this dispersion is small, and you're still dealing with a cruiser. You put out so many shells that many of them are going to miss regardless, right? Because your aim isn't always on point. Then steering gears as usual on a cruiser. This puts you at 8.4 second rudder shift. And then last slot concealment. Because, again, you're a cruiser. And let's take a look at the armor, right? 
Oh, she actually does have the 40 millimeter armor, but this one is 25 millimeters. This is kind of the problem. So if you go bow on and the battleship fires at this section, she likely won't citadel you from the front. But from the sides, because it's 25, you know, 380 millimeter caliber guns will over will overmatch this. So a Prince Eugen, for example, is safe from a Bismarck, right? I'll, I'll show you. This is 27 millimeters. This is 27. So when a when a Bismarck hits like this section right here, right, um, at this kind of an angle, the shell will simply bounce off the armor. But on a Mainz, because it's 25 millimeters, the AP shell will overmatch this part, and you will get and the Bismarck gets a penetration. And obviously the same for the bow. And this is kind of what I don't like about the ship that I do like about the Hipper and the Admir and the Prince Eugen, because they don't suffer from this. And obviously Prince Eugen has a heal too, and better AP. But she also has fewer guns. Mainz is an okay ship. Not great, not terrible. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the Patreons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.